What's going on, guys? This is Aaron from Departures Capital, and we're here with Brent Sun, Chairman of Go Logic. How are you doing today, Brent? It's a pleasure to have you back on. I'm doing well, thanks, Aaron. It's uh, nice to be back on. Yes, for sure. So, can you start by giving us an update on the company and telling us everything you've been up to since we last spoke, which has been a while? Certainly. So, um, it's it's absolutely been a, a busy year um, for us, and uh, certainly the team. Um, as you might recall, um, GoLogic went public earlier this year, and our team has been working very diligently on strategic partnerships, uh, mergers and acquisitions, and other initiatives. Today's announcement is the first of, of what we believe will be more to come that will be significant and also accretive um, to the company on an earnings basis. Yes, I'm excited to talk about this news. So, you know, fintech leaders. GoLogic and Gamma Ray plan to combine forces in a $320 million merger, which was just announced. This is exciting news. Can you tell us more about this and what it means for the company? Sure. Um, <clears throat> Gamma Ray is um, also a fintech company with a specific focus around helping people build wealth and utilize financial services that are simple and easy to use and equally important, um, less intimidating than, than what, what people would find out there today. Um, I think a lot of younger people, when they're starting out on setting up an IRA account or starting to plan for their future, they look around and trying to find a stockbroker or a financial planner um, can be very challenging. And what we've seen over the past few years are the emergence of neobanks. And what we're also seeing with that are platforms um, that are designed and geared towards younger people to simplify the process um, with the same tools and um, <clears throat> all the functionality that you would find at a full service um, broker or financial advisor or bank. Yeah, definitely. So uh, can you tell us more about the target market that GoLogic and Gamma Ray are going after? It appears that this is you know, more for the millennial and Gen Z demographic. Yes, that's 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 accurate. Um, that is the demographic that they're after. Um, we GoLogic has has historically taken a little broader approach, um, where we've offered uh, fintech services. So we have an e-wallet, we have a, um, a hyperlocal um, delivery platform that's tied into an app, and then we have micro loans. We focused in emerging markets, um, but on a broader demographic in terms of age and in and, and social um, status socioeconomic status. Um, what Gamma Ray has focused on is really towards younger people. And I would point out they're not a startup. They have $1.6 billion um, in assets under management already. Um, and we, together, we intend to grow that significantly. And certainly with the, the underlying um, growth of that demographic, um, we think that there's a, a real opportunity here. Yeah, that should be a very lucrative demographic to target for sure. So uh, this has been a very challenging year for many companies, as we know, especially in the tech sector growth. How's it been for GoLogic? And, you know, what are some of the things you're excited about for the year ahead? Sure. Um, I can absolutely not say that uh, this has been an easy year. It's been extremely challenging. Um, I think tech companies in our sector um, whether they're fintech or e-commerce or ad tech, I mean, you name it, everyone's seen their, their challenges, especially on, on the public market side. Um, one thing that we did learn um, during COVID is that taking a, an aggressive approach to seeking out partnerships, um, mergers and acquisitions, uh, new ways to grow the business um, pays off very handsomely. I think everyone that invested back during the early days of COVID saw that, that trajectory coming out of it to be quite steep and quite rewarding. Um, but what we've seen since last fall is a reset in valuations. So we got very aggressive in seeking out partnerships. Um, we've taken a contrarian approach. That's actually how we found Gamma Ray. They were going to IPO last fall. They thought the markets were a little toppy. Um, valuations back then were significantly higher, by the way. They were about five to 10 times higher. So mm -hmm. things that you would you would acquire today, um, you look back just as recently as January, you would have paid significantly higher. Again, five to 10 times higher. So that's why we're taking a contrarian approach. 
Um, and we believe that on this next leg up, as history will repeat itself, as it always does, um, investors will be rewarded. We as a company will reward shareholders and reward ourselves um, by being very selective on the acquisition and partnership side. Yeah, that's worked out very well for you so far. So um, can you tell us a bit more about Gamma Ray along with the merger and why now? Certainly. So um, as I just mentioned, um, in taking a contrarian approach and getting aggressive around things, what we've seen are valuations that are extremely attractive. And getting in now on the, on the M&A side, on the partnership side, um, trying to... Um, <clears throat> be in the public markets for companies that that had either sought to through an IPO previously, um, they're finding it very challenging. So by the merger with GoLogic, um, we are enabling Gamma Ray to uh, command more attention, um, bringing in 1.6 billion in assets for us um, will go a long way towards an uplisting. We intend to seek an uplisting on the New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ. Um, very soon after closing the merger, um, which we anticipate will be over the next 60 days. Um, and we expect that valuations will reset again to the upside. So anyone buying tech stocks now, we believe will be handsomely rewarded. And certainly um, it will en further enable us and Gamma Ray to both uplist and grow through um, additional financings at higher valuations or seek uh, more creative mergers and acquisitions. No, that's exciting. We're all looking forward to the next run in the markets because it has been a tough year. So when can expect when can investors expect to hear more about the merger? Uh, we'll be highlighting things over the coming weeks, um, including some of the key board directors, which are very exciting, um, new partnerships and and possibly even some um, additional uh, M&A opportunities. A lot's happening now and a lot is happening very quickly. Even though it's the holiday season, we're still working very aggressively to uh, to line some, line some things up going into 2023. Those are usually the things to look for in a good business. People who work during the holidays, I'm just kidding. That's, you know, what, uh, what I like to think because I'm super busy as well. So great to hear it. So where's the best place investors can go to find out more information on the company finally? Certainly. So um, at the bottom of our press release out today, um, there is uh, both our website for gologic.com and gamma ray.com. Um, plenty of information there, um, including historical uh, press releases, financial information. And um, <clears throat> as we move forward, uh, people will see additional information coming out. Well, that's great, Brent. Uh, it's been a pleasure having you back on for those updates. Best of luck with the merger. And I look forward to covering the story and having you back on in the new year. Excellent. Aaron, thanks very much. If you like these videos, kindly hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Drop us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And finally, always remember Departures Capital is for information, education, and entertainment purposes only. Don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here. Buy or sell a stock because you've done your research. You've done your third due diligence and you're making your own personal investment decisions for yourself. This video is not financial advice. Furthermore, this video may or may not have been sponsored by the companies that we've profiled within this video and we may or may not own shares of any of the profiled companies in this video. If you want to know the full disclosure details, check the description down below along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer. Thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.